Hello people, in this video let us look at this book DC Dattas textbook of gynecology. This is very useful for MBBS. This book can be used for your clinics also for gynecology. Look inside this book now. So now let's look at the contents of this book. Here you go. So main in gynecology you should know the bleeding, right? Abnormal uterine bleeding. That's the main most important thing that you should know. So STDs. So basically everything other than the obstetrics that is pregnancy and uh, uh, childbirth. Apart from that, any female reproductive tract issue is covered in gynecology. Like even contraception is covered here. Okay. So tumors, cancers. So um, look at the contents people. Are you able to see? So mainly in uh, menopause, uh, if there is um, in menopause, if there is bleeding, right, postmenopausal bleed that can indicate carcinoma. So you should always keep in mind endometrial carcinoma, cervical carcinoma, etc. Now in general, let's look at this book. So here they have tried to show you the anatomy. So here you have the ovary, the fimbriae, the ampulla, fallopian tubes uh, parts, the isthmus, the interstitial part. Okay, the small part which is between the uterus and the fallopian tube, interstitial part. Then here you have the uterus. Here you are, they are showing you the endometrial cavity. Then here you have the cervix and here you have the vagina. Okay. Basics only we told you. <coughs> so development of organs. So here they have shown you the bicornuate uterus. So, hysterosalpingography is it or laparoscopy? They are sh showing you the contrast here. So, the bicornuate uterus. Here you have the unicornuate uterus. Okay. At the end of every chapter, they seem to give you the points, which is nice. Let's look at some points. Menopause. What is menopause? Permanent cessation of menstruation at the end of reproductive life due to ovarian follicular in inactivity. So this is the definition of menopause. Okay. So how will you diagnose it? What is hormonal therapy? All that you should know. Okay. Hormonal therapy is very important to know for exam. What else? Mensuration. So you should know everything about mensuration. The cycle, the complete cycle. So this one, this diagram, right? So what exactly is happening from the 0th to 28th day? So here you should know how the endometrium is changing, which is the proliferative phase, secretion phase, all that you should know. How do you feel about this book, guys? This is the most uh, commonly used. Apart from this, people also use the Shaw's gynecology textbook. Some flowcharts given here. So this is about management of uterine fibroids. You can call it as leomyoma. So if it is in the body of the uterus, what can you do? If it is in the cervix, what can you do? If it is in the body, again, they are checking whether it is the... You can do a myomectomy. Just remove this myoma. Or you can do a hysterectomy. Remove the uterus itself. Myolysis. Again, yeah, they are talking about the same um, um, limited action here. So laser, uh, laser, then electrocautery, cryo, etc. Embolotherapy, so you can stop blood to that uh, leomyomycid. 
So all these are the options to treat uterine fibroids. This looks like a prolapse. No, sorry. This is a cervical fibroid polyp. This looks so big. Okay. So... What else would you like to know about this book, guys? Some tables are there here. Okay, focus. Hormones, special topics, abdominal vaginal discharge. Is it non-infective, infective or neoplastic or if there is a foreign body which is causing the discharge? Operative procedures. Current topics in gynecology, stem cells, therapy, embryonic stem cells in regenerative medicine, all instruments shown here. This is Hegar's dilator, isn't it? Cervical dilators. Hegar's, yes. Here they didn't put the photo. There are 12 sets. That's what we know. We use that. Okay. Then what else is there in this book? Instruments. This one, what you saw here, this one, what is this, guys? This is the perineoraphy. This is the episiotomy scissors, isn't it? Look at that. Perineoraphy. Also used in episiotomy scissors. Okay. Then, here they are showing you some specimens which they can keep. And remember, when you say specimen, you should say it is a specimen of uterus. Okay. That's how you should describe it. See here people, they are saying specimen of uterus. Don't say it is hysterectomy specimen. They will get very angry sometimes. So say his. Uh, what, do you, what should you say? Say it. Specimen of uterus. Yes, specimen of uterus you should say. Okay. Now here they have some plates. So they will give you these um, <clears throat> images um, as a plate or, or an x-ray. And you have to identify what is happening in these x-rays or ultrasound images. Okay. I think this book is very good for your clinics and for your theory. For clinics, you can also go for a Viva uh, book. So that will be very useful if you have a Viva book. So especially one one case, they will pick up and they will discuss extensively about those cases. So those type of books also you can look at. So in this video, we have looked at this book, DC Dutta's textbook of gynecology. Bye bye.